Photography is the most accessible art form. It is a language, a visual language, with rules, but they are few and basic. And nowadays, technology has made the technical aspect approachable by almost anyone. A little bit of knowledge and practice can go a long way. And yet, somehow, most of the conversation around photography today is about the how. There are a few reasons why this is this way. On one hand, there is more money to be made in photography by selling cameras and lenses and accessories and by teaching photography than with photography itself. Many photographers make more money giving workshops than with their images. And of course, camera manufacturers always want to sell us something new. So there is a lot of interest in this world to make us feel like we are lacking something that could be a piece of equipment or it could be a piece of knowledge, maybe a new photography technique that we didn't know about. And don't get me wrong, maybe we do need a new camera and maybe we do need to learn a few more things. But most of the time, what most photographers are lacking is the answer to the questions, what are you photographing and why are you doing it? And those are much harder questions because no one can answer them for us. So we take the easy route. We believe, we convince ourselves that we can't do anything until we get that new camera or that new lens. We get lost in technical books about photography, but then we don't know what to do with all of that knowledge. We have great power in our hands, but we don't know what to do with it. You see, it's, it's never been about photography, it's all about what we photograph. We need to be passionate about what we are trying to capture, we have to love the process. We need a reason to get out of bed and expose ourselves to the elements. The joy of using a camera is just not enough to face the cold, the rain or the snow time and time again. Without a reason, we burn out. Photography is a language, and as such, it should be used to say something. We don't need to aim to change the world with our work, though. Perhaps making our little corner of the world a bit better is enough. For us, by finding beauty, and for others, by sharing it. It can be as simple as that, just sharing the beautiful things we see, things we and most people might have missed. I remember when I was growing up here many years ago, I remember going to school in the morning on very foggy and cold mornings like today. And I remember not appreciating it as much as I do today. The place is the same, it's barely changed in all these years and the conditions are very similar. So what's different? What's changed? It's me. It's the way I see this place, the way I see other places, the way I see the world. Photography is the tool I use to find beauty around me. It allows me to see things I had missed before. It's almost like a spiritual experience. It is that search for beauty that drives me, that pushes me. In some places, beauty is easier to find than in others, but I believe that no matter where we are, there's something beautiful to be found. Sometimes it takes more effort, we need to look harder, we need to look closer, we need to pay more attention, but it's there and it's waiting. Sharing not only what I find, but also the drive, the why I do it, is the only meaning I need for my photography. This is the reason why I'll keep getting out as often as I can, for as long as I can. So, what's your reason?
All right, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it entertaining or helpful or both things. If that was the case, please consider giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't and you want to see more like this. I also want to thank all my patrons for their generous support. Um, I have almost ready a little gift for all of you uh, in the form of an ebook. So stay tuned for that. I would also like to thank especially today Terry Olsen, one of my patrons, who's also a, a fellow photographer and a big supporter of mine. He's been supporting my work for a long time, but he's got amazing work himself as well on his Flickr page. I'm gonna leave the link in the description down below so you can check him, check him out and check his work out. I totally recommend it. But that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.